Geeks, gamers, sweaties that still live at home in their mum's basement, car booters, this is Stooge Club! And we're having a look at the car boot haul that we picked up today. I am your host, the Stooge, and I'm joined today by the knockout, Fiona! Hello, knockout Fiona here with my excellent English accent now that we live in England. Okay, that's terrible. That's Sorry. That's horrible. <laughs> horrible. All right. So let's have a look. We went to two car boots today and I think there's a couple of little charity shop uh, bits and pieces. We will start with this. Playing cards. No. Nightmare Before Christmas playing cards. These are actually brand new, have never been used. I paid 99p for it. I'm going to be looking at probably about 4 dollars on those, so pretty happy with that. The same charity shop, I picked up uh, Lord of the Rings on PS2. It was 50p. It is complete. It's in good condition. We're happy with that. Uh, you found this. How much was this? Pound 50. Okay, pound 50. This is the... Bronte English Country Herb Sport Soaps Kit. Bronley. Bronley, there you go. With a little wooden box, it's got a, a whole lot of little soaps in there. Da, 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 da. You know, some designer things and this and that. What does this go for? Not sure yet, but right. so we're taking I'm a pun on that to one. Turn a couple of quid on it. All right, we'll see how we go on that. Okay, from the car boots this morning, I picked these up. Uh, we have, let me aim that down a little bit, a Winnie the Pooh porcelain egg cup, it's official Disney, and Piglet, official Disney, uh, these were three pounds together, so I think there's a couple of pounds in that probably, give that a go. Alright, start, pass me stuff, pass me those books. Yes, sir. Okay, uh, how much did you pay for this one? Uh, squid, I think. Okay. Harry Potter poster annual 2008. It's still got the poster in it. It's hanging on by thread, but it's there. So one pound. Ooh, probably get a couple for that. I collect annuals, but these ones I'm not too interested in. I'm going to build up a little lot of uh, this brand of stuff. We've got uh, Thomas Tank Engine. I think that's 95. 96. And 2011 annuals, uh, they were 30 p each. Oh, yeah, okay. Ooh, 1984 called and wants its technology back. All right, so this is a Beatrix Potter, Peter Rabbit box set. VHS. VHS. Do you remember uh, that? <laughs> these big things, perfect condition. I don't even think any of them have actually been played because I had a look at them. Um, how much you pay for this? Four pounds. How much do you think you're going to put that up for? Twenty-five pounds. Nice, nice. All right, hand me something else. Ambitiously. Hand me that little pile. Ooh. Okay, so these annuals are for me. Um, I think all the annuals I paid are the fifty p or a pound max for. So Beano two thousand fifteen, Beano two thousand sixteen. And Marvel Heroes 2017. Next. Okay, uh, this was 50p. I'm going to have to count the pieces to see if it's there. But it's a Popeye 100 piece jugs, uh, jigsaw. Looks like... There's no date on it. I checked it before. But it looks like maybe 50s. 50s, 60s. Um, wooden jigsaw pieces. Yeah, I'm going to have to do some research on that. But yeah. 50p, we should be able to turn a couple of bucks on that. Part of the Thomas lot that I'm putting together, uh, Thomas Picture Dominoes, you got this. How much was that? Squid, maybe? There 50p? we go. Awesome. And another 50p, I bought a whole lot of old games. Uh, they'll just randomly start coming through. They're 50p each, I haven't checked any of them, we're gonna have to check them, but this is uh, Club Golf, the challenging game of for golfing. Enthusiasts, two to four players. That was 50p. This has even still got the price on it. Um, again, I can't see a date on it. I checked it, but just looking at the artwork stuff and then, you know, see if you can see that, the artwork. I'd say that's early 80s. That's that sort of Disney early 80s artwork. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, 50p. 
I will take that all day long. Okay, Banks, if you're watching this, these are going to you. Manchester City Lampshade, 50p. Uh, Man City Blanket, how much you pay for 50p. this? 50p. 50p, there you go, Banks. You got some more Man City stuff. That was supposed to be for the cat. Hand me some more. <laughs> Alright, these are more of those games. For these are 50p each. Thunderbirds, the board game. Um, pieces are going everywhere. Can you grab that Ooh, piece? Yeah, yeah. It's stuck. Grab that piece. It's stuck. Okay, can't open this one, Stooge. Alright, now I'm not opening it, I'm <laughs> trying to close it. Okay, Lord of the Rings Risk. That was 50p. Um, Oof, now it's stacked. Um, be careful with this one. Uh, Travel Go, that's from the 60s. Uh, I got these three for 50p. No, you got these. How much did you get these for? Yeah, I think 50p. Yeah, 50p. All right, so we got uh, Percy Book, <laughs> Thomas. And Thomas and Friends Big Storybook. So they're all going to that Thomas lot. Mm -hmm. Okay, next board game, please. Had someone trying to snap these out of my hands. I laughed in his face. All right, uh, Le... You speak for... Le a skillful game of military tactics for two players. This is more my stuff. Screwball Scramble. That's that. Uh, we had it. There was something called oh, something else in Australia. Trap? Mouse trap in Australia. Yeah. And <sighs> labyrinth. I remember this game from the eighties as well, and you can tell by the box art it's eighties. Look at those haircuts. Look at them. We all know. Next. Ah, this. This is very cool. I'm not opening it up, but I assure you, it's all there. It's the Micro Machine City playset. I'll give you a look on the inside. Cool. So you can see it all opens up. There's some cars. It opens up to a whole city. This opens up. It's a big thing. Um, that was three pounds. I haven't decided if I'm going to sell or keep that yet. Oh, I'll see. That's from 1996. How much you pay for this one? Squid. Mad Hatter Chronicles Puzzle for a pound. Um, sealed, brand new. Kids TV show, no idea about it. No idea. Can you pass me stuff on? Bye. Simpsons Annual, 50p. That goes to my collection, Simpsons 2015 Annual. Okay, games. 50p, Virtual Tennis PSP, 50p, Need for Speed Underground, Rivals PSP. Uh, one pound, Fallout 4. One pound, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. One pound, Gears of War 2. One pound, Left 4 Dead 2. One pound, Borderlands 2. And 50p each for me, the Muppets movies. They're all going on a table at some point somewhere. So put them aside for table items and pass me something else. Oh yes, pass me that. So, I'm a huge Thundercats collector, saw him, he was 50p. Um, I will check him against mine, but I think mine's in better condition. If not, this will go on a table somewhere. And it is a Mumra, 1980s LJN toy. Uh, Super Sentai, Dragon Zord. If you press the button on his side, he walks, he talks, he does stuff here. I'll show you. So... If he looks like the um, Green Dragon Zord from Power Rangers, it's because Super Sentai is what Power Rangers is based off. Yes. Yeah, how That's much was a that? Set of seven. Okay, so seven, how much you pay for them? Three. Okay, three pounds for a set of seven. Probably could have talked him down more, but you know. You weren't there. No, I'm gonna sell those. Yeah, anyway, set of seven of those. A pound, uh, Zoopolis was sold, a set of Zoopolis toys, uh, yeah. Zootropolis toys before, they yeah. go pretty well. So I thought, Did you... box is a bit damaged, but yeah. Still works, perfect. Give her a go. Put the plate back. Next. Oh, 
Oh yeah, she, so the knockout's working on her frozen lot. She's got a couple of bits and pieces. There's a, what's his name? Um, Olaf. Oh, oh, oh gosh. Olaf. People, kids out there are yelling. <laughs> How much was he? Uh, squid. Squid. Uh, this is going with the Peter Rabbit um, videos. How much you pay for him? One fifty. One fifty. But he's really nice, and I think it'll go really well with that set, and just kind of make it stand out. Speaking of sets, yet another. Yeah. So 2015. Thomas book to go with uh, Thomas lot that I'm doing. Lot. Yeah. Um, so we've got a Toy Story lot we're building up. So that's 50p for the pen set. Uh, this was for me. I'm going to have to get that off his foot. There you go. Um, 20p. Triple H. There you go. These are for me. As I said, I collect annuals and that type of thing. Um, so Dennis and Menace 1990 from Beano, obviously. And uh, the Beano and Dandy celebrate Dennis and Menace. And they were 50p each. So, yeah, we'll add them. Dandy. Next. Thomas. So, another piece for the Thomas lot. This is uh, Thomas popping dice game. It's Trouble, basically. But Thomas the Tank Engine Trouble. So... That was 50p, I haven't even looked at it yet. Banks, we got some more stuff for you. Uh, Man City Annual 2017. It was 2007. Uh, 2007, sorry. Man City Annual 2006. And a Beano Annual for me, 2016. This was, these are 50p. Okay, these were 50p as well. This is from the same old board game lot. So, Seahawks. Come on, focus. There we go. Seahawks. And Diplomacy. So, those two games, 50 page. They look like with 60s, 70s. 70s. Paid two pounds for this. Uh, snakes and Bladded. So, this is a drinking game with drinking glasses and stuff. It's very heavy. Keep emptying bags. Star Wars? Yeah, yeah, send it over. Oh, it's just a heavy one. Yeah, because it's got annuals in it as well. All right, so, Star Wars toys. Uh, I paid two pounds each for them. The seals, they're brand new. I'll be selling these. There's more somewhere else. I traded a couple as well to get toys I wanted. Okay, they're all the same. So, four of those box sets left. Five of those box sets left. Um, micro machine, six of those box sets left. There should be one more micro machine somewhere as well. There we go. And the three micro machines, two pounds each, one pound each for them. They're all brand new. They're all going for sale. If you like Star Wars toys, check our eBay link. And you're in the UK, obviously. Let me drop them back in there. This must be riveting YouTube, watching me just remove stuff from... There we go. All right. So, a couple of games for 50p each as well. Uh, Psyops, table items, and Max Payne 2. Check the discs. They're both complete. They're both in good condition. So, yep. This was 20p. How to speak droid with R2-D2. Still works. Star Wars stuff. All right, now couple of things. Where are the other ones? There should be two more of those guys. Oh, well. So I traded two of those Star Wars lots and five bucks to my toy reseller dude um, because he had some cool stuff in that I wanted. Only four pieces this week but visionaries. Oh you can see the hologram as well. That's awesome. It actually works on YouTube. Another visionary and another real Ghostbusters. So they were five pounds and two so nine pounds. So I was pretty happy with that. All right, the annuals. Uh, Dandy 2014. There's going to be some double ups here, so I'm going to sell whatever the double ups are. Dandy 2007. Dandy 1990. Beano uh, 1990. Beano 89. Beano 93. Uh, just Dennis and Menace and Nasha from 94. 
2013 uh, Dandy, 2014 Beano, and uh, Warhammer, Beast of Chaos, and Warhammer the Empire. Ends up getting these two for free. So the Warhammer books are going off for sale because they sell really well. And the annuals are mine, and any double ups I have, I'll do something with. That's it, Stooge? No. No, those bags empty, and the stuff on the floor. That's my china. Stuff on the floor, the books on the floor. Done those. Have we? Yeah. So that's it? Yeah. How about the Winnie the Pooh thing? Oh, yeah, one more here. Alright, and this was an on the way out the door purchase. Um, hand painted Winnie the Pooh 100 acre collection hand painted figurine. Box isn't in great condition, but the figurine is really nice. And I paid a pound for it. So. Not 150. Nope. So I think, I think we're pretty much done. Yeah, we smashed through that. Okay, we got through it pretty quickly. All right, folks, that is it. That is the haul for this week. The resale items, my stuff, all the rest of it. Let me know what you think. Comments below. That's what they're there for. There'll be another video tomorrow because guess what? We're going car booting again tomorrow. So we'll be back with you tomorrow. If you're interested in any of the stuff that's for sale, check out eBay link. It'll start appearing there eventually. It's in the description. Until next time, I have been your host, The Stooge. I'm the Knockout Fiona. Geeks, gamers, nerds that still live in their mum's basements, car booters and eBay resellers, don't forget, this is Stooge Club!